Hi, this is Debbie Boyer, and in this video segment, we're going to talk about how to use Guided Access on an iPad or an iPhone. And Guided Access is a great tool that will let you limit students or your own children to just one app at a time. And sometimes when kids are in working, they'll, they'll be looking and working and accidentally hit the home button and then they're out of the app and they have to have help getting back in or they get distracted by other apps that are, are available. And so this will lock them into one app at a time and it's very easy to do. We're going to start with the settings icon on the iPad. And when we go to settings, we'll then see the general tab and we'll click on general. And then accessibility. And this opens up a new window. And under accessibility, we're going to scroll down the screen a little bit. And we're going to look right under learning. That's the reason it's put in here is for students learning. And click on guided access. Once we're on guided access, it's actually turned off right now. And I'll have to take this white on white button and slide it over and make it a white on green. It then will ask me to set a passcode. And this is something totally different that you've not used before on the iPad. It's not your lock screen. It's not your restrictions passcode. It's a separate passcode for just guided access. And at home, you can set it to something that your, your children won't know or be able to guess. And at school, the librarians are going to send out what access code the campus will use. If I'm using an iPad and I set guided access and then I share my iPad with the classroom next door and that's still set, then the teacher next door isn't able to turn it on and off. So we'll have a common one per campus and the librarian will let you know what those are. Once we've set that passcode though, we're going to come back over to the app that we want to have guided access applied to. So I'm going to hit the home button on the bottom of the iPad and it's going to take me back to the main screen. And I'm actually going to look for a chalkboard app. And I'm just going to pull down anywhere in the center of this screen. I'm going to pull it down. And I'm going to do a search for chalkboard. And this is the new Spotlight search. So just pull down anywhere on any of the home screens and type in what you're looking for. And it will take you right to that app. So pull down, type in chalkboard, click on the app, and it's going to open it up on the iPad ready to roll. Now nothing's happened yet. This is just a regular app and if I wanted to pick up the, the chalk and start marking or the eraser and erase, I can. But if I want to set the guided access first, I'm going to triple click the home button at the end or the bottom of the iPad. So clicking it three times. It's going to ask for that passcode, and it's going to give me some options. And one of the ones I really like, it says to circle the area on the screen you would like to disable. So at the top of the screen, there's actually some ads, and if I'm to click on them, it could take me out to the uh, Apple iTunes Store, it could take me out to the App Store, it could take me to Google, um, possibly to Amazon. So it's kind of like a sales uh, pitch to the kids and might take them out to some place that we don't want them to go to. At school it's blocked. They couldn't get there anyway, but at home this might be something you'd like to do for your own students. So it says to circle the area on the screen you would like to disable. And so I'm just going to circle up here at the top and get that area and I can pull it out and size it a little bit. I don't like what I did, I just click on the X and circle again. And then once I have that, you notice it's grayed out. And that means that when we're working with the, the kids, they won't be able to click in that area. Down at the bottom, there's some hardware button options. And when I click on those, I can turn on the sound, let the kids have uh, control of the sound. Or I can say, nope, I'm setting the sound, and this is what it is. So there's all kinds of things uh, we leave on the touch and the motion, but you can play with that and see what you think. When you're doing this for the first time, there'll be a start button in the top right hand corner. And since I've worked with this app before, I'm going to resume. And once I resume, then when the kids pick up their chalk to write, and they may say A and an apple, forgive my drawing, is for A then we can just work with this app. But when I go up to click on the deals at the top, 
it won't let me go anywhere else without that. I can pick up the eraser. I can erase. I can draw a new uh, image that would start with A. I can do all kinds of things, but when I'm ready to get out of the app and I hit the home button at the bottom of the screen, then it's going to give me a message that says guided access is enabled and you'll have to triple click to get out of this. So let's triple click and what it does is pulls up that passcode again and then the kids cannot get out of it because they don't know the passcode. And so they would just go ahead and press once again or cancel and they'd be right back and could still work in the app but not get into any other apps. So triple click then as the adult we'll pull up the passcode and then we can type that in and the kids can then go back to playing with the app as normal. We'll click on end at the top left hand side of the screen and we'll be right back just using the app without guided access. You notice it gave me a message that said guided access has ended. If I want to turn guided access off, I'm going to go back from that home button and click on settings again. And with the settings, I would have to go back to general and we'd have to go back to accessibility and once again to guided access. And we can turn that off at any time by pulling that little slider button over and then got it access is totally off of the iPad. It's just a fun way to keep kids on task and focused and, and with, with little ones uh, they accidentally click in and out and around and, and get discouraged because they're right in the middle of their learning. So I hope this will be something that you can apply both at home and maybe at school and if you have any questions you know how to reach me. Have a great day!